So we want to talk about One Way ANOVA using our studio. One Way ANOVA is actually a test that we're using uh, when we want to test there's a significant difference between uh, in a specific uh, dependent variable between three or more groups. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to use a data set called data. Uh, this is the data set. Let's take a look at it. It's already uh, inside. So we can see the data here. We have schools, we have location, we have resources, we have curriculum, we have students ID, and we have the test scores of a student. And what we want to do, first of all, we want to grab the data. It's already, it's already inserted into R, so we're not going to do this, but we will uh, install, we will upload the, uh, the tidyverse and also the clipper, which we used to grab the data. Um, at first, we want to start with um, descriptive statistics. So what we want to do with the descriptive statistics, we want to find, first of all, we want to find the distribution uh, by location. So we can see that we have rural, suburban, and, uh, and urban locations. We have 71 um, entries from the rural location with the mean test scores 67.5 and the standard deviation of test scores 10.9. Of suburban, we have 232 responses with a mean of 79.2 and a standard deviation of 12.3. And from urban, uh, we have 129 entries with an 88 uh, average and a standard deviation of 4.71. Now we want to uh, take a, a more visual look of the data. So we can see this is the histograms per each one of the areas. Each one of the we have this is the histogram of the rural and the suburban and the urban areas. And we want to check if there's a significant difference between. Uh, these three suburban, uh, these three areas, when we're talking about um, test scores. So we're going to use uh, line 27, we're going to use that um, command for the model, and then we're going to use the summary to see the model. So looking at this, we can see that uh, there's a significant difference. We see the F value. The F value is very high and the probability uh, comes with the F value is very low. That means that there is a significant difference between um, between the, the locations, the three locations. Now we want to uh, find, we want to understand which ones of the locations are uh, different from each other. So for this, we're going to use a post hoc test called Tukey HSD. There's, there, there's more than one option for that, but Tukey HSD is one of the more uh, uh, one of the more used options. So this is the Tukey HSD model. We can see uh, here the difference between suburban and rural. We can see the difference is 11.71. We can see the difference between urban and rural, which is 20.48, uh, and the difference between urban and suburban, which is 8.77. We can also see the uh, p-values for each one of them, it's very, very low. So it doesn't even show how low it is, but it's 0 0.000000, many zeros. So that means that there's a significant difference between each one of the pairs possible here. So we, since we have three groups, we have uh, three possible, um, three possible difference, uh, three possible uh, pairs here. And we have uh, effectively significant difference between each and every one of them. So the last part would be uh, to try and visualize. So according to the results of the Tukey HST, we can see that there is a significant difference between the whole uh, possible uh, difference between the whole possible um, pairs here. From the visual uh, representation of the Tukey HSD, we can see that effectively we have um, the zero line here. Zero line here represents uh, no difference between the results, but we can see that if we enlarge that for a second, we can see that we have the urban and suburban, right? We can see that we don't have the zero line is outside of this uh, confidence interval. Same goes for urban and rural. We can see that the zero line is outside of that 
area. And same goes for suburban and rural, which we can see that the zero is outside of this area, uh, outside of the confidence interval. So since zero doesn't meet each, uh, neither one of the confidence intervals, that means that we have a significant difference between each and every pair, possible pair in this result, in this uh, data set. So that means that all three of them are significant by the two key HSD results. So this is how we do uh, one-way ANOVA in our studio.